Uh, good afternoon, uh, once again from the World Government Summit. Uh, very pleased to welcome uh, Mr. Wali Chetta, President uh, Middle East and Africa of Schneider Electric, the world's most sustainable company. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, since we, here, we are here at the World uh, Government Summit, uh, smart cities, uh, there are many uh, governmental bodies and semi-governmental bodies, uh, and this is something uh, very close to your heart. How are you helping out uh, those uh, bodies uh, to uh, basically uh, develop uh, their Smart Cities program. So first of all, thank you for having me. We are delighted to be here and to be in the World Government Summit. We are effectively uh, pronounced as being uh, the most sustainable company in the world. Uh, this is the third uh, time we received this award that is very close to our heart. And yes, to re uh, respond to, to your question, we truly believe that a big part of the emissions of the planet are coming from cities. 70% of the, of the global CO2 emissions are coming from the infrastructures of cities. So working with governments is our DNA, uh, whether it is the utility, providing electricity, providing water, whether it's transportation. Mm -hmm. And in cities like, like Dubai, of course, it's an overarching message yes. and a global coordination that is needed. What is lovely about the World Government Summit here is that you can talk to all the stakeholders in one place. Yeah. So what I can tell you is that we engaged with many ministries, we engaged with many governments yeah. to provide them with a roadmap. And we could speak about that. Schneider Electric does not provide only the technical solution, but always advocacy uh, and advocates for, for the solutions. Yeah and can provide consulting in that yeah. regard. How can we accelerate the process and what is the timeline basically for that? Yeah, that's a very, very good question. You know, when you speak about technology to, uh, to make more efficiency, you always have a break between the upper layer, the mm -hmm. softwares, the mm -hmm. algorithms mm -hmm. that are going to execute yeah. these programs and the hardware mm -hmm. and the connectivity mm -hmm. of the city upward and as we have cities that have been existing for a long time not all the products in the city are connected yeah. to this software layer what we believe in is to implement first the connectable machines the connectable acs the connectable water distribution yeah. units to the cloud and then yeah. to make the necessary out of it this is where the time frame is a, is an issue this is where the time frame is a challenge yeah. What we provide to our uh, customers uh, generally is to phase mm -hmm. these initiatives. So we, we never start by the overall development, but we always start by districts, mm -hmm. by quarters, mm -hmm. so that we can identify the results and move on. Yeah. This is how we advocate. Uh, some destinations are very keen uh, to be the region's first uh, um, certified uh, eco destinations, yeah. uh, including Expo City Dubai, including Aqaba uh, sure. in, in Jordan and uh, Morocco. How can you help uh, those uh, entities and those, those destinations? So thank you for this uh, question. And of course, we are working with all these governments across the region to first strategize. So we do have a complete activity that is in charge of strategizing the movement toward the net zero. Because as you know, you have scope one, scope two, scope three, and you have to address all of them. So you first strategize. Then we believe that electrification is the shortest way mm -hmm. to sustainability. As you know, the most efficient energy is electricity, yeah. electromagnetic mechanism force. This is the most efficient energy. So we want to electrify after strategizing mm -hmm. and then digitizing, getting the data mm -hmm. to make the most of the usage of this data. Yeah. Once you do that, you mm -hmm. can certify, and that is very important because you spoke about yeah. most sustainable cities in the Middle East or ecotourism, you have to be certified yeah. to be taken seriously, yeah. not to be accused of greenwashing. Yeah. You need to have the right yeah. outputs and certificates to prove that. This is what we should work on, and this is what we are doing with all these wonderful cities. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, we had floods last year in Dubai, yeah. uh, where we are, and uh, the government is committed to developing a, a system of resilience. Yeah. Uh, how can we help that? How can you help as Shad Electric? Again, we always have a motto. You cannot control what you don't not monitor. So monitoring is the key of everything. Yeah. What we provide is preventive solutions because if you measure using AI, and that is, I know you AI is used in many ways, 
but in this case it's very pragmatic. Mm -hmm. You use the big data of weather, yeah. you use the big data of the behavior mm -hmm. of your installation, whether mm -hmm. it's water or electri electricity, then you predict the maintenance, you predict some of the behaviors of yeah. the equipment yeah. or the sewage systems mm -hmm. in regard of a massive rain, for example, mm -hmm. you need to start by monitoring, you yeah. need to start by collecting data. And we believe very much that collecting this data is crucial for them. And we are offering them currently, and we are already in advanced discussions on that matter. A knowledge transfer. Uh, previously, oh, we yes. used to import oh, here yes. in the Middle East. It's, it was one way, from yes. the West or whatever, yeah. uh, to this part of the world. We are here at the World Government Summit, and we think the whole world come here to learn. Mm -hmm. So it's vice versa. Yeah. How are you adopting that at Schneider Electric? So I will give you very concrete two examples. The first one is very practical. When I'm telling you we advocate for strategizing the, the sustainability journey, we are recruiting not less than 40 experts who will be based in Dubai, and some of them are already based in, out of Dubai, okay. to serve the world. So when we speak about advanced consulting services for sustainability, mm -hmm. guess what? They are going to live in big time in Dubai. But the second one is more symbolic. Our global CEO, Olivier Blum, is relocating, is now living in Dubai. Oh, wow. So the thought leadership will come out of this part of the world to, I would, I would say, go throughout the planet, starting from the Middle East. So the global CEO of the world's number one sustainable city uh, company is, will be based in Dubai. True. <laughs> Mr. Wali, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much.